Yeah, 3,000 is our base case, not our bull case, but our base case. Um, Tesla is about nearly a quadrupling over five years, so right. well within our range. And, uh, and that's because Tesla in here, I think it's becoming very obvious now that electric vehicles are taking massive share from traditional gas-powered vehicles. Hey everyone, this is Wagner. Now in today's video, we're going to be discussing what we can expect from Tesla stock during earnings and be sure to stick around because I'm also going to be sharing a scary price target for Tesla after their 3 for 1 stock split since a lot of people are anticipating the 3 for 1 stock split many analysts out there are coming out with a scary price target for Tesla stock and this might actually surprise you now keep in mind that Tesla has already released their Q2 numbers and they were pretty much right on expectations with 258,000 cars produced and 254,000 cars delivered. Now the company also said that June was the month with the highest production in Tesla's history, which is a good sign for Q3 and Q4. Now of course these numbers dropped from Q1 because in Q1 Tesla delivered 310,000 vehicles. And in terms of the stock price, well, Tesla has continued to go on a downtrend in June and now July, and for the first half of 2022, Tesla stock has dropped about 40% since the year has started. But remember that none of this had nothing to do with their delivery numbers or fundamentals. It was because of a huge wave of negative sentiment all across the market, which included an inflation rating higher than expected, which then caused the Fed to hike interest rates, which only led to the markets reacting in a negative way to the news. And then that caused the S&P 500 to enter a bear market territory. But as usual, we have stock analysts turning up to share their Tesla price targets since delivery numbers were not as good. Now, to be frank, some of these are a bit ridiculous, with a few of them coming out with a sell target of $375, and we even have a $67 price target coming from Goran Johnson, which, if you did not know already, is one of the biggest Tesla bears out there. I mean, that guy will just not quit. Objectively, Tesla has lost their product edge. You look at, there's a number of competitors out there who have similar or better real-world range, better interiors, similar or better charging speed, and are just better quality. I think the fact that, you know, they've lost their product quality edge, their deliveries are declining. We've talked about their market share in China dropping from 17% uh, to 10, 10%, market share in Europe dropping from 30% to 15%. But I think these delivery numbers being down are a big problem for the bull. And a lot of these price targets have been because of Q2 delivery numbers, which were much lower. But a lot of these analysts are sometimes incapable of doing their job because listen to this. The reason of why Tesla delivered a lot less cars in Q2 was because of their Shanghai factory shutting down for a month. That was due to the COVID lockdown in China. And after that, it was only operating with limiting capacity, but then they started ramping up production back in June. So the reason for lower production of Tesla has absolutely zero impact on the long-term production of Tesla. They only had a few problems out of their reach and were not able to produce and deliver as many cars in Q1. Now again, some of the analysts who are rated better tend to agree on a price target somewhere in the $1,200 range. And let's not forget the $4,600 price target from ARK Invest for Tesla in 2026. So if you're a long-term investor, then this should make you very happy. But remember one thing, a lot of these analysts who are making extremely bearish price targets are not making decisions in the same way that you and I are making decisions. You and I being long-term investors are not making the same decisions as they are. They don't have a five to 10 year investment window because they need to make money within the next two to six months. And on the other hand, a lot of these bullish price targets for Tesla are very far out and they are based solely on Tesla's vehicle business, robot taxis, their energy business, and humanoid robot business. But in the short term, Tesla stock might face a lot of difficulties, and there's a good chance right now that Tesla stock could get hit very hard, considering current market sentiment. But should we buy Tesla stock now or wait until earnings? Well, Tesla has also said that they are still expecting a 50% growth for the year. I also expect that Tesla's vertical integration in semiconductor software and battery will result in superior growth. And since batteries are the biggest bottleneck for the EV industry, I believe that because Tesla has its battery construction factories and manufacturing, I believe that the company is uniquely advantaged and will drive higher margins with their battery and actual deliveries. Now, in my opinion, there are two main catalysts for Tesla in 2022, at least in the short term, which can cause the price to go nuts. That's gonna be their quarterly earnings 
and their investor meeting in August, where there is also going to be more details about the upcoming 3 for 1 stock split for Tesla. So Tesla has plans to triple the number of available shares and split the price by one third on the day the stock split takes place. Now this move does not affect the valuation of the company, but simply increases the number of common shares available of a publicly traded company while decreasing the price to make shares more affordable for investors, which is what Elon is trying to do right now. And this is important to remember because last time Tesla did this, many people out there did not know what a stock split was and got wrecked by catching FOMO into Tesla. But in much, much simpler terms, if you own one Tesla share, then you will get two more. And according to them, this move is going to make ownership of Tesla stock more available for both employees and investors alike. And I believe that this earnings call is going to be very important because we're going to get more details about Tesla stock split as this is going to positively impact investor psychology because as the share price goes up, the price per share might seem too expensive for many and a less expensive stock can be seen as a weaker and cheap stock. Even if the market cap for the company is the same, a stock split has the potential to increase the price per share. And if we do get a positive vote of approval for the stock split in August, then we can expect a positive impact in the price. And I'm sure we will hear more details during the Q2 earnings call. Now, should we buy Tesla stock before or after earnings? Well, right now, there are more factories, which means more vehicle deliveries. And it's no secret that Tesla has faced challenges meeting the demand for its vehicles in the past because of production constraints. And in fact, despite the company's incredible growth, a lack of manufacturing capacity has actually slowed them down. However, that might be about to change with Gigafactories, one near Austin, Texas, and the other one in Berlin, Germany. The new additions will take Tesla's manufacturing capacity to 2 million vehicles per year from 1.5 million. And again, that's the longer term outlook for Tesla. But the main thing that I'll be looking out for in earnings is their guidance, what is your guidance going to look like for the rest of the year? What they expect to sell for the rest of 2022, as Elon Musk already expects to produce up to 1.5 million vehicles this year. Also, more stock split news and robot humanoid announcements. And as you can already expect by looking at the charts, we can always expect Tesla to gain a lot of momentum going into earnings and then drop off a few days after earnings. And that's what I think it's actually going to happen again, more especially buy the rumor, sell the news, but that's okay. So if it falls again, then so be it. Now, I really do believe in Tesla long-term, so the short-term price movements do not worry me so much. And I see red days in Tesla as a great way to accumulate cheaper shares. And I am right now door cost averaging very slowly, but from looking at history and the past, again, we can expect a short rally leading into earnings and then a sell-off a few days later. So at the end of the day, I'm not really planning on doing anything differently when it comes to investing in Tesla around earnings day since, since I am in it for the long term. And with that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to like this video and subscribe for more content. And do not forget to pick up your two free stocks with Webull using my link down in the description below. And one of them could be valued up to $1,800. And you can also get up to $500 worth of free cryptocurrency if you use the links down in the description below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.